So RCS messaging is now available on iPhones, all thanks to the developer beta iOS 18. But in the next month, it will become available for all these compatible devices you see right here. Feel free to pause to see the whole list, but basically, if you have an iPhone XS or newer, your device is compatible. But there are a couple of things both devices need to be enabled to make sure RCS works for you, which stands for Rich Communication Service. I bet that's something that a lot of people didn't know about. So we do have it installed on our iPhone 15 Pro right here. And right here, we do have a Google Pixel phone. So in order for this to work properly, you need to go into your iPhone settings. And then in here, go into the app section scroll all the way down to you find messages right here scroll down and just make sure you enable RCS messaging now on the Android side you need to go to your Android operating system settings I find better reserve well let's just type it in RCS and then RCS chats should pop up tap on RCS enable this and then you could decide if you want said re receipts show typing indicators or automatically switch to SMS if RCS isn't working for you and the file size that your device can download. And that's it. Now, as time making this video, here in the States, the only carriers that support RCS currently is AT&T, Verizon, and T-Mobile. And this also includes their third-party partnerships like Mint Mobile on T-Mobile, Google Five, which is what we're using on our Google device, and so on. So if AT&T or Verizon has like a sister company and they share satellite services, they're actually compatible now. So back in our phone, on the Android side of things, any third party or even the main messenger app will support this, which is quite awesome. By simply just texting somebody, you'll see I already did a couple of test trials here, but by simply sending a text message, you'll quickly link up and show me it like it would on a normal Android device, but on top it'll say RCS. And over here on the Android side, it'll also say RCS. And it'll also mention who enable RCS. And then at first it was kind of buggy. As it still is in the beta, you can see it was saying like like and stuff and quotations. Or actually, let me reply from here. Do hi again. And I could heart it. Just like so. And it updates immediately on the Android, on the iPhone side as you see right here. But I have noticed, again, it still is buggy. So if I heart something over here it's gonna end up doing something different like this. Again, over time, this should be fixed, but as of, as of right now, this makes communicating with an Android user much easier because it also little, gives a little bubble, bubble feedbacks right here with the little dots. And if we hit that send message, it also will mark the last time it was last read, including ours. So a lot of amazing iOS features are now compatible on Android. Android is no longer left in the dark. And then when it comes to sending like high resolution, like photos or GIFs as an example, here's all my, if I hit send, it gives a little feedback right here. There is something coming through and it gets sent. And if you click on that photo or video or even GIFs, it's high resolution. You could strictly download it and install it to your device. But some things that are different, uh, right now I just switched to SMS. I just noticed in this text bubble. Now where it was supposed to say SMS, it was supposed to say RCS right here where it says text message R SMS. So it's buggy right now on my iPhone. Again, still it's just a beta, but all the important features do work. But some weird ones, since we have this weird odd effect going on, if we long hold right here and do like a screen effect, it may not end up working. But I do know it was just say send was echo effect. That's basically it. I know this is a work in progress. Not just my iPhone's big bug right now. I know this is currently going on even to those carriers that do currently support everything. But in the near future, we should receive like the ability to do screen effects, like for celebrations, someone's birthday and stuff. As of right now, it will just show up like this. But the important things like Android reactions is something that I do like. In no time it should also appear here i guess it didn't so that's pretty interesting <laughs> why would i type that in ignore it i meant to say go but i could always heart it and it should show up on my iphone or not anymore so it still is a work in progress and if i do that it's not going to go rcs oh wait it did so 50 50 it looks like ghosts sending ghosts real quick as a lot another trial and now it doesn't send anything. It's buggy, unfortunately. Now as for group chats between Android and iPhone users, 
this is how that group chat looks like and on the android side you have the ability to quickly reply as again and it should pop up here let's see there we go so it did show up and the same applies with gifs and videos they'll be high resolution and everybody can actually interact just like that so give it a couple seconds android should pop up right underneath and iphones and then you can react to it just like that. See, again, it's buggy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does the old fashioned SMS thing, even though it's still showing me SMS, but it's really using RCS. And something was going on with my carrier because I'm now getting the other messages that I wasn't going through from earlier. And on Android, again, you always had the ability to long hold the little send arrow and create a custom schedule. Meanwhile, on iPhone, we always have the ability to do a custom schedule message, but for RCM, it does not currently work, but I'm sure it will work over time. It will currently only work on iPhone groups that are on the latest version of iOS 18 or 17 or newer, where you can schedule a message. On Android, it works on both devices. So that's a quick overview of RCM on an iPhone working with an Android device. Again, the Android choice that we're using in today's video is the Pixel 5a. I had this one lying around, still activated with the SIM card, and we were just using an iPhone 15 Pro. But now, because of this new change, I may actually possibly consider changing from iPhones and start daily driving Android phones because the massive turndown was the fact that I had a hard time communicating with friends and family because they're all on iPhones. But now that this new RCS is now available on iPhones, it makes transferring or changing to different devices a lot more easier. Let me know in the comment section if you are also planning on possibly doing the same thing, experimenting with different brands and phones now that RCS is now available. Now, if you'd like to watch more, highly recommend checking out this video over there where I go through all the coolest changes available on the Apple TV on the latest version of tvOS 18. Check out the developer beta right over there. Again, the public beta will give you access to RCM and should also be available less than a month. Sometime in July should be available for the public for the beta. And then as for the full official release, should be released sometime during the launch of the next generations of iPhones. Thank you so much for watching.